Hello, what's up? What's happening, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Georgia Southern Dynasty. Today, we're going to be taking on Indiana. They're ranked number 31. We're ranked number 40 to kick things off this season. It should be a fantastic ball game. We got a bunch of new faces, baby. Trent Blair takes over for Jonathan Cade. Uh, no more Ke Keon Moore in the backfield is going to be the Walker and Campbell show. Brand new receiving core, basically. A defense that's still led, though, by the big fella up front, Big Chambers. Ely slides over to the middle linebacker spot. Long gets a hit on the quarterback, but the pass from that quarterback was perfect. An absolute perfect strike to Stoltz, who beat Moss and got down that left sideline with some ease. So direct snap to Patrick Muse and Muse. He's loose. And Muse did things like that all over this channel. Go check out the Indiana Dynasty. That man was an absolute monster. So we're down by seven already. Moss gets to the 18-yard line and no more. So first down and 10. Trent Blair going to roll right. Going to set his feet. Going to pop it deep. And that pass caught by Flynn again. Makes the catch to kick off the brand new season. No Zeke Davenport. He was drafted by those New England Patriots. That pass will be caught by Brown. Move those chains. Trent Blair, perfect two for two so far. Under pressure and down he goes. So Falk has two tackles plus a sack. Gonna run that thing on Walker. Walker trying to get loose and he does so nice game there. So third down to five. We can pick this up easily. Looking now, Fielding is dropped. Our freshman receiver, Basque. I'm going to say it's Basque. B-A-S-C-H. I'm going to say that's Basque. Anyways, looking down, Phil going to throw it, and that pass is broken up. So back-to-back -back completions, or incompletions, at the back-to-back -back completions, we give the ball right back to Patrick Muse and Indiana offense. Chambers was there for the stop yet again. They throw it to Muse out of the backfield, and that's an easy pitch and catch for a first down. From the 39, they give it to Patrick Muse again, and... I don't know if we are built to stop this guy right now. Four carries, 48 yards plus a touch. They go up the gut and there we go with the stop. Bishop all up in the backfield. Second down, play fake. Bishop couldn't quite get to the quarterback and that gave the quarterback enough time to find Stoltz. And yeah, Demetrius Richardson, he might be a little bit different. Under some pressure, fumble! We got to the quarterback that time and we're going to take over via the fumble. So our defense comes through with the stop. Walker trying to get loose, going to get back to the line of scrimmage, maybe got a yard. Second down and nine, Trent Blair looking, throwing it, caught Ian Clark to the 45, to the 50, in the Indiana Territory and down to that Indiana 27-yard line. First down and 10 now, Blair going to roll right, looking for Clark again, makes the catch, and I think we might have a dynamic duo on our hands. The ball just comes out so beautifully from Trent Blair's hands. I mean, he looking like the real deal holy field. You feel me? Mutes. Going to take this one north and south on the kick return up to the 26-yard line. Looking downfield is Richardson going to find Montgomery, and that's going to result in a game of around four. Second down and six. They throw it. That pass is caught. Move those chains. So we could have a little bit of a duel on our hand, but we hit the quarterback. And that pass is his first incompletion. Second down and 10. Now they throw it in the traffic. And that's back-to-back -back incompletions there. Third down and 10. They fake the run. They step up in the pocket. He gets smacked. And that pass is going to fall incomplete. Richardson is now hurt. So three straight incompletions to end that drive. We're going to run the ball. And Walker goes nowhere fast. And that play is going to take us to the second quarter of play. So second quarter action now. Single back look, gonna go to the right side. And that pass caught by Smith. And we gotta get John Smith going. All these receivers are very, very talented. John Smith and Ian Clark are definitely the top of the class. There goes Trent Blair trying to get loose, gonna pick up a gain of one. Second down and nine, we throw it over the middle. That pass is caught by big John Smith coming through with another reception to move those chains. Looking down through this Blair, gotta get the tight end involved, and that's a nice grab by Brown for a gain of seven. That's five straight completions for Blair. Throws it up as he gets hit, caught by Flanagan. Touchdown! And just like that, we have taken the lead for the first time today. And we got hit in our back, but we put that ball on the money. I'm telling you, Trent Blair is different. We have three Elite 11 quarterbacks on our roster. They're just going to have to wait their turn, and hopefully they do decide to wait their turn. Muse, loose. 
Patrick Mews to the 40 yard line with a full head of steam. Now Richardson trying to get loose, spin move. He better get down before he gets hurt yet again. Toss play, Mews finds a lane and then that lane got shut down by Chad Long. Long on the blitz, gonna bring down Richardson but after he picks up the first down. So they work way up to the 50 yard line. Richardson throws it, that pass caught by Patrick Mews out of the backfield and Mews is missed to do everything. They give it to him up the gut now. He's loose inside the red zone, dropped by Moss, and that's going to be a first down. Richardson fires it. That pass broken up, second down and 10. Richardson trying to get loose using his feet, works his way up to the 10 and down at that 7-yard line, and that's going to be a first and goal. They throw it, and that pass is caught by Reed, but just a gain of round two. They run the ball. We shut that down. So right now, can we force a goal line stand? They're going to run the ball. And the answer to that question is no. Indiana drives downfield. It was the running game and the pass game balance that led the way. And boom, boom, boom. They're in the end zone just like that. So they have a minute 07 on the clock. Smith weaving through traffic. Smith meets a roadblock at the 24-yard line. We have a minute 04 on the clock. We're going to roll left with Trent Blair and the left-handed quarterback throws a perfect pass to Flanagan. First down into the 49-yard line. So Blair drops back. Miss a fly. Caught by Clark. Every pass is like it's a perfect pass. Right on the money. Blair throws it. That pass caught and that's going to be a gain of around 8. Blair has it. Blair under pressure, and down we go. Loss of around nine yards on that play. We're going to roll right. Throw it to the end zone. Caught by Smith, but they're going to say he's down at the one. So first and goal, we have one timeout left. We do a quarterback sneak, and it's not going to work out. So we're going to go for it with about five seconds on the clock. We throw a quick pass. It falls incomplete, so we're going to settle for a field goal here. Probably could have kicked the field goal on that last play. Might have been a safer bet, but why not try for the end zone? So we're up by three, and we get the football first to start the second half. Moss from his goal line gets rocked at the 20-yard line. First down and 10. Give it to Walker. And Walker going to work his way upfield. Decent game there. Second down and six. Fake the run. Blair breaks the tackle. Blair going to fall forward, and he crosses the 30-yard line. Move those chains. Walker gets boxed in, and he's going to go nowhere. And now we're looking at second down and eight. Campbell trying to get loose. Campbell going to work his way upfield for a first down. First down and 10 now. There goes Campbell again. He's loose. 50, 45, 40. And he works his way up that right sideline for a gain of around 20 in the first down. Blair sets his feet. Throws it. And, and Bass, b -b 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 Bass, my brother, six foot seven, all kinds of talent from San Francisco. But you got to catch the football now, brother. Third down and 10. Blair looking downfield, lets it fly, and that pass caught by John Smith. The man does not play. A perfect pass while getting hit again and put enough air that the DB couldn't do nothing with it. So now on the kick return, Smith has it. He's going to get pushed out of bounds at around the 47-yard line. They're going to run the ball here. Muse, nice physical end to that run, gain of six there. Second down and four, give to Patrick Muse again. Can we stop him? We do, but they do have a first down. So from the 39-yard line now in Eagles territory, that pass is caught by Montgomery, breaks the tackle, going to get put down at the 25. So they continue to march with some ease. We do shut that down right there. That is TJ Peterson with the stop. Now they throw it, that pass caught. And now they're looking at third down and two from the 17-yard line. They fake the run. Richardson to the left side. That pass caught. Move. Those chains and the drive shall continue from the 11. First down and 10. They throw it. That pass caught by Stoltz, and that's going to result in a game of around six from the five yard line. They need four for a first down, five for a touchdown. They go for the whole enchilada. Touchdown. And now Indiana's down by three. We get the ball to Walker up the gut. He's going to pick up a nice game there. Second down and seven. Give it to Walker up the middle again. Gets shut down just a little bit. So third down and five. Trent Blair has it. Rolls out of the pocket. Throws it. Coming across the middle is Bass. To the 40. To the 30. 20. And my man Bass is coming through when we need him to. And then Campbell's going to take it to the crib. Let's go. Touchdown, GSU. And we are up by 10. Richardson's going to keep it. He gets chased down from behind to end the third quarter. 
So fourth quarter action, second down to five. They still gonna run the ball, and why wouldn't you run the ball when you got running back like that? But they do got to speed things up just a little bit. Mules gets the carry again, brought down by Bishop. And now they're gonna be looking at second down and seven. Richardson's gonna keep it. Richardson trying to get loose. Will not get loose at all. Chambers with another tackle. All four of his tackles have been tackles for loss. Big D tackle like a Warren Sapp out there. That pass caught. And look at this man continuing the ball out. Stoltz has five catches for a buck 26. Richardson throws it. That pass caught by Reed. He's going to go nowhere fast. They run the ball and Mills is too hot to handle. So we are up by, I believe, three points now. So we got to score and keep scoring and make sure we take some time off the clock as Moss weaves through traffic for a nice kick return there. So one to four minutes to go in this one. We're going to run the ball with Walker. He gets brought down after a gain of three. From the 31-yard line. The pass or the snap, I should say, was high. The pass was high as well. And Bass can't hang on to that one. So third down and seven. Under pressure and down we go. We go three and out. And now Indiana, ha Indiana excuse me, has a chance to tie the game or win the game with a touchdown. They run the ball. Muse picks up around three. They run the ball with him again. Picks up a lot more than three that time. And that's going to be a first down. From the 49 now. We got some pressure and that pass was an ugly duckling. Second down and 10. Demetrius Richardson throws it and that pass will fall in complete. Chad Long, we see you, baby. Third down and 10. Richardson looking, throwing it, and the, yo, the cameraman had a bad chance of catching that one than the receiver. So fourth down and 10. Minute 40 on the clock. Richardson heaves it deep, going for it all, and that does not work out. Now, of course, if it would have worked, the announcer would have said, that's a perfect play design. You, the team thinks they're going to go short, but you take a shot deep, you confuse everybody. They don't know what they're talking about, neither do I. Walker, up that left sideline, picks up a first down. Walker picks up six right there on first down, second down and four. Walker tries to get loose, he's going to get shut down. So third and two, in my mind, this is four down territory. But Campbell's like, yo, coach, I'm all kinds of good. Mm-mm, good, yes, you are. Campbell to the crib. And that's going to do it. We're up by 10. It should be all she wrote. Now, for me, it's two down territory on third down and then fourth down because I was not going to kick the ball deep only up by six and have a kick return to the crib. I'm like about to have this interception to the crib. And that's just the way I was thinking. And this game is now officially over. My boy Bullock, Bullock excuse me, takes it to the crib. And, yeah, that's that. That's a heck of a way to kick off a season. It could be a good year. It could be a very, very good year. Got to remember last season, Jonathan Cade, who I think at this moment in time is still better than Trent Blair, but Trent Blair's arm talent is on a different level. But Jonathan Cade's running ability plus his flowing, throwing ability, I think made him a better quarterback last year at this time. But Trent Blair, I think, is on his way. And if he progresses during the season, which I think he will, he will be that guy. Uh, last year, though, left tackle and right tackle, they were both freshmen, so it was hard. Jonathan K was under pressure a lot. Uh, this year, I think our team is better. So it could be that scenario like Tennessee back in the day where Peyton Manning, like the best quarterback in college football, best quarterback in Tennessee history, he didn't have maybe the, 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 the supporting cast around him. Not saying his teams were bad, but, you know, next year T. Martin comes into the fold and they win a national champion, a championship, excuse me. Is T. Martin better than Payton? Don't think so, but, you know, that's just the way the cookie crumbled. I think we could have a, a similar situation. I'm going to get off this mic. A similar situation in the future or for this year. That's that. Peace out. Love you.